Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Pokemon Fire Red, the randomizer Nuzlocke. In the last part, we went through Route 3 or whatever this route is, made it up here into Mount Moon, went through Mount Moon just a little bit, but in this part, we're going to be exploring the rest of Mount Moon and probably making our way out of here, and I really think I should have got repels. I'm not sure if I did or not. Do I have repels? Because those things are fantastic, and I don't. Oh well, I guess we'll just have to deal with these wild Pokemon. And what I'm just doing right now is changing my battle style to set. Um, if you don't know what that is, that's basically instead of when you're in a, when you're in a battle with multiple Pokemon, and it usually gives you the option to um, switch out your Pokemon before they send out their Pokemon. It doesn't give you that option anymore. So it kind of just makes it a little bit more challenging on the player. And you know, Nuzlocke's all about a challenge, so. Might as well challenge myself, right? Yeah. Um, Aerodactyl, I don't want to switch, stay in with you because you're kind of scary. You could have like ancient power or something, so Big Blue will just take care of that. Because my boy Big Blue. Whoa, a ho -o. That's sweet. Um, we'll go into Big Blue for that. Oh, ne never mind, I, I guess. Uh, oops, went the wrong way. I think down here is the TM for Thief, if I'm not mistaken. So, or what usually would be Thief. Um, so I wonder what it is in this randomizer. Ooh, it's Mach Punch. And something I learned about the TMs, I just realized, is that, let me, let me show you guys. In the TMs, Mach Punch is in for Thief, like in the game program for Thief. So any Pokemon that could actually learn the move Thief can learn Mach Punch. Same goes for like Thief is now Rock Tomb, or Rock Tomb is now Thief. So any Pokemon that could have learned Rock Tomb can learn Thief, but since no one's able to learn Rock Tomb, no one's able to learn Thief. So that's how, kind of how the TMs work from now on. Just because of the randomizer and stuff, and you know, a bunch of a bunch of weird stuff that I have no idea about. And nah, I don't want Odor Sleuth. Odor Sleuth isn't too good of a move. Um, let's switch out to Big Blue, because Big Blue needs some levels too. So what's up, my friend? Um, oh, an Armaldo. Let's do all these fossil Pokemon. We had, um, whoa, another fossil Pokemon. Man, this is just the episode of fossil Pokemon. We had Cradilly, Aerodactyl, um, Armaldo, and then Ammonite. Or Amastar, I think, is what it's called. And here's an Ether. That's nice. And let's make our way back up the ladders. So it's always interesting to see every single Pokemon battle, because you never know what these guys are going to have. Instead of having like the regular Pidgeys, they now have Pidgeot, Pidgeotos and Pelippers. So this dude's a flying dude. So you're seeing right now that I can't switch out after every turn. So basically it's just we're going to have to waste another turn to switch out our Pokemon. Or we'll just have to keep them in. So just increasing the challenge basically. A, a subscriber actually told me to do that in episode one. And unfortunately... I recorded like three episodes um, before I actually released the first episode, so this is the first episode that I've re that I'm recording after I uploaded the first episode, and I can't believe how how uh, great you guys are reacting to this series. You guys are seeming to be loving it. It's uh, really cool, you guys. So also, I hit 10k subs. I know that was a little while ago, but right now I'm just really thankful for it and thankful for you guys. Um, being awesome and supporting me. So here's another Nine Tails, or not another Nine Tails. I don't think we actually faced a Nine Tails. Anyway, you guys are awesome, and I like posting the videos. I don't know what I'm trying to say here. Just got a Cyndaquil and ooh, a revive. Those are so useful in Nuzlocke. I am so grateful for that. And what you got, son? You got a C dot. Oh man, gotta watch out for that bide and Ludicolo. That's why do you have Shadow Ball? That's really weird. That is really weird, wood. Really weird. Whoa, that's a tongue twister. Really, 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 really weird. All right, and uh, Team Money has another item, so we'll take that. What's with you getting all those berries? Like the first thing you got was a rare candy, and then now you're just getting berries. Team Money, come on, you're better than that. So Trips got revenge, and I know I could give Mock Punch to Trips, but he already has two fighting type moves. But I know Mock Punch is priority, but. I'm just kind of saving it for maybe another Pokemon that we'll get. I don't know. It just doesn't seem to be um, a necessity right now. Because, alright, you're not dying anytime soon. Tentacruel is actually a really nice um, special wall. 
So it could really take any special hits. And hey, here's a Whale Lord. I was talking about that before. Um, that I was saying that um, we found Whalemers and Whale Lords in the cave. And oh, I probably should have kept Quick Attack. Oh well. Um, ooh, Growlithe. Hey, what's up, buddy? Anyway, let's. Oh, I think I clicked off my screen. All right. Anyway, let's um, get this moonstone right here. Yes, because I know there's a moonstone right there. It's very, very suspicious place for an item. And ooh, you got another item. Uh, no, not give. We gotta take the Aspir Battery. Oh man, you're so good at getting berries, T Money. Um, no, I want one of these fossils. Come on, man. Uh, so this guy, is, he's a little selfish, so he wants all the fossils to himself, but, you know, sharing is caring, man. You gotta, you gotta share your fossils, and ooh, triple kick, yes! Alright, so I guess I got rid of rolling kick, because I don't really use that as much. Uh, triple kick's basically double kick, but you hit three times. So yes, this guy realized that being greedy is not good, so he wants to share one of the fossils with us. And of course, we're going to be picking the Helix Fossil, because... Come on, who doesn't like the Helix Fossil? Yeah, and you get the Dome Fossil. So I'm wondering if the, actually the fossils are randomized too, because that would be kind of cool. And ooh, another Machamp. Oh man. We got an Antidote, and we're just about to get out of Mount Moon. Yeah! So I don't understand how, look at this, that we climb up a ladder, but somehow... It leads us to the exit of a cave. I don't know. So over here, I wonder if these are randomized too. So we'll, we'll take a look. Um, Mega Punch. Let's see. Um, Big Blue. Okay, so it is still Mega Punch. And I guess I'll learn it because Mega Punch is actually pretty good. Alright, thank you, sir. And Mega Kick. I'll try to teach it to trips. Um, just to get rid of like focus energy or something. Um, so that was very nice of these two young guys to teach our Pokemon some awesome moves. And let's pick up this Raspberry. Oh, man. And we're just about there in Cerulean. Ooh, what, what was this? I missed it. I missed it. I missed it. What are we doing? What is this? Take down. Okay, that's cool. Um, you know what? We'll, we'll keep that for later. That's a very nice move. All right. And is this a new route or not? I'm trying to see if this is Route 4 or Route 5, because Route 4, we caught the Magikarp in, and no, I, or not Magikarp, the Charmeleon, so what would we have gotten if we did not get that Charmeleon? Oh, oh man, that sucks. But it's another fire type that, yes, is better than, or not really better than, but oh, I would probably use a Blaziken over yes. I'm sorry, yes, but Blaziken's are just too cool. Alright, let's forget about that. That is in the past. We just have to move on to the future. So, I think we're ready for another rival battle. Uh, but first, let's get some items, just because you can never be too safe with items. So, I hope they have super potions here. And they do, awesome. Let's just grab three of those. Alright, very nice. Thank you, my good friend here at the Poke Mart. That was very kind of you. Alright, so now we must avoid that little boy. And, uh, ooh, I also want to get the rare candy. There are so many secrets here that are just so secretive and secret that are secret. Where is it? There it is. Alright. So, oops, what did I press? I don't know what I pressed. The help button. I, uh, well, I know what I pressed, but I didn't know what button I pressed. All right, let's make our way up to this bridge. La da 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 da. Nothing gonna go on right here. And oh, oh, okay, Blue. Yo, what up, Blue? How you doing, my foo? Um, okay. You can see what Pokemon I caught, but let me see what Pokemon you caught. Hmm. <laughs> and you're leading off with a Carvana. Okay. That's something we should not stay in on. But luckily, yes, is Intimidate. So that's nice of him. Um, we'll go over to Trips because Trips has that super effective revenge punch kick thing. And oh man, another Intimidate, wow. Uh, oh, uh, we better watch out. This Carvana is making a scary face against us. We better just stop everything that we were trying to do. And oh my gosh, Carvana, you are, what? You flinched me. 
Come on, no flinches this time. Uh, but what? Trips, come on, you're better than that. There we go, Trips. You're very good at this. And Carvana is done. And I hope it doesn't have rough skin, but it does. But that didn't do too much. So yes, and Trips, get to split the experience. And oh, here's a starter, the Nido King. As always, we'll go over to our Big Blue, our starter, and take care of his starter. So that's what Big Blue's for, to take care of this big bad Nido King that thinks he's all cool and stuff, but really he's not. Oh yes, good job Big Blue, you are doing a great job, and I don't know why it's not doing a 2 hit KO, that it takes 3 hits to kill this Nido King. Um, a little disappointed in you, Blue, but you know, you, you gotta work on it. You gotta work on it, buddy. Just gotta work on your water gunning powers, or maybe just learn a better water scent move. So hopefully one of those random TMs that we actually do get a water type TM. And what else do you have? A low tad, okay, I think you had that last time. So, I actually wonder if his Pokemon are gonna actually evolve. I'm hoping they do, and he doesn't just stick with a low tad, that he actually evolves it into a Ludicolo. And that Carvana turns into a Sharpedo. Because if we're facing a low tad, like, at the end of the game, that's kind of not fair. But, you know, anything's possible with the randomizer. So, you know, you, you never know. We'll just have to wait till next time about Because I think low tad evolves at level, like, 16 or 18. So, and oh man. I kind of feel bad for you now. You have a Magikarp. And oh yeah, it's level 16, so it could actually learn Tackle. But unfortunately, we have to kill your team, and you're not doing so well, Blue. You should think about getting different Pokemon. And I actually think he does get a different Pokemon, because whichever is in place of his Rattata, he's going to drop it after the SSN. And then he's going to visit it when he's in the Pokemon Tower, grieving his dead Pokemon. And oh, what's up? You want to give me something? Hey, thanks, man. I always gotta check my fame because I am so famous. Aw, uh, smell you, Blue. Aw, uh, me and Blue, we have such a good relationship. We like to smell each other and and say, give us items. I, I don't know. I actually don't really like the guy. He's, he's kind of a douche. Um, but, you know, that, that happens. But we're here in Cerulean City, and I think this is a good time to call it quits for the episode. We made a lot of progress, we went through the whole Mount Moon, we defeated Blue, and we did it all under a certain amount of time that I'm trying to look at. 13, up. Oh, just turned 13 minutes now, but probably not 13 minutes for you because you also have to include the intro. Maybe it will be 13 minutes, I don't know. Maybe I'll do some fancy editing magic. <laughs> I'm just running around in circles, I really don't know what I'm doing. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.